Tom studied chemistry at the University of Pittsburgh and neuroscience at Caltech where he earned his doctorate for, from UCSD in anthropology with an emphasis on psychological anthropology. And there he studied altered states of consciousness and religious conversion. He has taught anthropology courses on religion, the environmental crisis, and mental illness and deviance. And today he will be discussing his previous research on ibogaine and his long-term outcome study of ibogaine assisted treatment for opiate dependence. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. So uh, today I'm really happy to be here with, with Sandy Hartman, who's going to be uh, following up on talk. Oh, microphone. Hello, is this one? Yeah. So I'm, today I'm very happy to be here with Sandy Hartman, who drove up from Playa de Tijuana and uh, is running an aftercare house there for people who've undergone Ibogaine treatment. And she'll be following up my talk with some words of her own. So. Um, I'll mostly be talking about this study that's funded by MAPS that started in September and the uh, PI on the study is Valerie Majeko and I'm a co-investigator also involved in the study is uh, Rishi who's a student at the California Institute of Integral Studies and his advisor Dr. Meg Jordan. So the main question that we're looking at in our long-term study is, can ibogaine therapy facilitate long-term recovery from addiction? And um, the, one of the main things here is that it's long-term. As I'll show you, we have some evidence from other studies that shows that ibogaine is very good at interrupting addiction on the short term and giving people who are addicted to opiates and other substances a chance, an opportunity to recover from their addiction. So the uh, overall outline for today is I'm going to talk about what is Ibogaine. Uh, I'm assuming that some of you don't know much about Ibogaine. And why are we looking at it uh, as a treatment for addiction? Why is it being used as a tre treatment for addiction? And uh, I'll look at a little bit at some of the previous studies that have been done and the history of Ibogaine. And also very briefly look at some other psychedelics that have been used in uh, treatment of addiction. And as a way of looking at the question of whether or not the trip itself uh, makes a difference in the addiction recovery. Does it matter or is it just a biochemical sort of phenomenon? Uh, 